Hi guys, I'm Bree. And I'm Allie. This is Off Script. If you think about it, books are potential scripts for movies. When this adaptation happens, typically it's disappointing because they went off script. In this series, we will be talking about how off script they went. Hello guys. Hi. Welcome to Off Script, a podcast where we usually compare books to their movies. But instead, today, we have a mini-sode for you where we're just going to talk about what it is to podcast. Oh, I was going to actually, like, explain what we're doing. (laughs) Okay, you go. We got asked to talk at the library to talk to teens, hopefully, about what it is to podcast. And we have a whopping zero that showed up to (laughs) listen to us. We've got some ghost (laughs) chairs in front of us. It's kind of (laughs) cool. Um, but, but like, let's be honest, how cool is it that we even got asked to come and talk? Like, that's mind blowing. I know. We were told that it's just, this library isn't, doesn't have a lot of teens Mm -hmm. and it was, it was a program for teens. Yeah. So I'm going to go with that versus no one wants to hear us talk. (laughs) I'm going to assume that a little less. (laughs) No, I bet, I bet too, like. This is a smaller branch. Like, I had no idea that this was here. I know. I almost drove right past it. I did, too. And my thing was like, the library is right here. And I was like, that's no, a fire station. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, fire station is literally like next door. Yeah. Which yeah. is funny, because that's how it is at our branch, too. Oh, yeah. Except for it's not literally, like, I thought they were the same building. <laughs> yes, I did, too. Yeah, ours is, they, they have forest in between a little mm, bit. Yeah. But. Yeah, and a parking lot. Yes. But, yeah. So, thank you, John. Since you are a listener, I'll give you a shout out. Yes. I'm like another John in our life. <laughs> oh my gosh. We have so many. <laughs> um, but we feel very honored that you even thought to ask us. So and not only thought to ask us, but he's been fighting for us to record a podcast at the library, which is makes me feel so happy and special. I, I know. Like, thank you. Yes. <laughs> we would love to do this more often. <laughs> Since we don't have teenagers here, we just thought. Because when we were coming up with a plan for what to talk about, we were like, this would actually be kind of a cool episode for us to produce ourselves and release to those of you who listen. Yeah, so it's our little mini-sode about what it's like, the ins, outs, good, bad, ugly of podcasting. Yeah, making a podcast. Mm -hmm. We Originally, we were going to start with our origin, but I really feel like we've beat that one over the head for you guys. Yes, (laughs) yes. Off script, figured it out at Westport. Um, we wanted to talk about anything and everything, but realized that would be hard for us. So we narrowed it down to books, books versus movies. movies. But then we got our anything and everything by our mini <laughs> <laughs> All right. Nice. Yeah. Check. Boom. Done. Easy. I'm next. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I stopped. <laughs> we even came up with like a... We made an outline. I will take a picture of it for you. We came up with an outline and we decided what like each of us were going to talk about. (laughs) We're organized. (laughs) We're professionals. One of the things we were going to talk about is how you got to go into a podcast not expecting it to be successful. Yeah. Like, yeah, we're considering successful our whopping 1,800 listens on Spotify, (laughs) except for... We did the math and I actually, I got teary eyed because I looked at uh, our Apple stuff today and first off our Matt interview on Apple has blown up. Like on Spotify, it's our second most listened to. So exciting. On Apple, that episode alone has gotten like 131 plays. What? Yes. That's so cool. Yeah. So and then we have 2.5 thousand listens there. So if you do the math and you add those, we're at like 4,000 listens already. That's crazy. Yeah. That's so exciting. So like we consider this instant, su- not instant, but success, <laughs> no. right? Yeah. Yeah. Where, cause we were going in like, this will be fun to do. We will get five listeners, but you know what? Five listeners who listen to an episode and we only get like one episode <laughs> listen yes. per one we release. And so, <laughs> hey, we weren't expecting anything of it. And so just to have get to this success is pretty mm-hmm. exciting but mm-hmm. even if it didn't who cares you're as having long fun as we're having fun that's the number one thing to think about with podcasts mm-hmm. because like if you're not having fun why are you doing it 
Right. That was always our thing. Because I remember there would be times, especially last season, when we got to the nitty gritty of having to read a book a week because we were so far behind. Mm -hmm. It was almost to the point where we were getting so stressed. We had to remind each other, like, we're doing this for fun. Mm -hmm. Like, if you're not having fun with us, we're not doing it We're stopping. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so that's kind of the main point to a podcast. If you're not having fun, don't do it. Yeah. Yeah. Because I think... I think it comes across if you're also not having fun. People right. can hear it. If, I If don't. you go in just to be successful, <laughs> that's not. No. No, that's not no. how you do it. That's the, If you're not that's already famous, <laughs> I'm sorry. It's going to take a lot of work to get up there. It's I true. Think. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So then the next point we want to go to, to help make it successful, you got to do marketing and we did not originally. We kind of like knew we needed a Facebook and an Instagram. Yeah. But we were like, whatever, you know, we'll post every once in a while. Mm-hmm. But then we realized we're getting listeners from that. Yeah. And we were like, oh, I think what did it for me was when we made our first silly reel. Because I from the get go, I told Ali, I was like, I think it would be fun if we could like set up a live or something where we're watching a movie and you guys see our reactions while we're watching the movie or whatever. Mm -hmm. But obviously watching us watch a whole movie would be boring. So I wanted to find a way to do that. But at the start too, I was like, but also why is that really going to like drive anything for us? But then when we made our fun, silly little TikToks about eating pretty bots and stuff. Right. And we posted that and like first day got 200 views. I was like, oh, we need to be doing this. Right. And so that's when we started like, okay, we're going to start doing TikToks and reels. We're going to start getting more conscious of what how we posting. post and what we're posting. And that's when we started realizing we need to do hashtags. And because mm-hmm. I never do hashtags. Mm-hmm. I will like jokingly like <laughs> so. uh when but. I was book blogging, I hashtagged all the time. And when I used to do, if you guys didn't know this, I used to post on Tumblr as Cinephile Weekly and I would do movie reviews. And my movie reviews that did really well had like 50 million hashtags. Actually, throwing it back, showing how long me and Alyssa have been friends. <laughs> Alyssa used to read my, like I would type it up and send her the review before I posted it. And she would read it and then she'd go, okay, you need to add this hashtag and this one and this one. And she would help me bulk up my hashtags. We need to hire her for her hashtag. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> hashtag guru, come yes. back. But yeah, so I think that's a... And then we keep... Like you just added... We just got our website. So mm-hmm. there's another mm-hmm. marketing-ish thing. Mm-hmm. You just got... What is it called? Threads? Threads, yeah. It's something on... I still do not understand it <laughs> look we're trying you guys and we don't even understand this stuff yeah. like tiktoks and we're we, still horrible at on threads we already have 42 followers <laughs> and we haven't even posted anything i've posted two things okay i've posted our season three or oh, our pedro tiktok okay. there and then i posted matt's interview there okay <laughs> That's insane. Yeah. See, you guys, you just it's work. It's to try it really and is. get successful is work. Mm-hmm. And it's not like we're also not going into it to like, obviously, yes, it would be nice if this got super successful. But I like I'm having fun when I get new. Like, I'm like, oh, we got another follower. Ooh, exactly. This video reached 2000 views. <laughs> exactly. It's like it's just fun to mm-hmm. see what happens. Mm-hmm. And so something also with. Uh, marketing and everything is getting out of your comfort zone. Mm-hmm. Guys, that's been hard. Uh, Allie Super. wants me to take this one well, because you're the I know I was the it. one. You're yeah. killing it. Yeah, yeah, go for it. Uh, I my dad actually. I have to give all the credit to my dad about the remote recordings because when he bought me for Christmas all of the equipment that he bought me, he was like, "Brie, I don't think you realize like." the ease that you're going to be able to do this. You're going to be able to take this places and like, maybe you can go to bookstores and do this. And he originally was thinking Barnes and Noble because he wanted us to set up at the Starbucks in Barnes and Noble so that we would hear the clatter of everyone like Uh walking around and stuff, which is a great idea. But I really liked because we are small ourselves. How great is it to be able to 
go to small Mm -hmm. companies and try to help promote them. And then if they try to help promote us too, even better. Which is what has happened. We have to thank uh, Island Books. Island Books. Mm -hmm. um, Browsers. Browsers. It's an episode that I don't know when, if it's coming out before this or after this, guys. So sorry, but we went and did Parable. Yes. (laughs) <laughs> stay tuned or i hope you liked it <laughs> yes <laughs> um i reached out to the library and that's how john got in contact with us because i i thought it would just be cool because there are so many libraries that i love that i think would be neat to go and record at. oh definitely mm-hmm. especially i feel like i feel like libraries aren't that big of a thing anymore and i wish they were I know it makes me sad because I remember every week my parents would take me to go get a new book Mm -hmm. and it was my favorite thing to do. I know I have a book box like we have like 15 books in it right now from the library and we try and go once a week. You know, my kids now that Riley's reading books, she's Mm -hmm. we're going through them a little slower, which is fine. Mm -hmm. And so but we are I'm trying Mm -hmm. to make them realize books are important. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I have now since then. Because the first few places I emailed, I literally just kind of like BSed my email. <laughs> I was like, hey, we're with Offscript. It's me and Allie. And this we're is what small. we do. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if we'll do anything. <laughs> Help. <laughs> and like Bookum was our first yes. And I was so excited when they said yes. I was like, wow, this is actually happening. I was so nervous. Oh, God, I'm still nervous every time. I was really? nervous walking into this library today. <laughs> oh, my gosh. It's getting easier for me. Good. Because <laughs> it's getting harder for me. <laughs> what? <laughs> I think after our Matt interview, mm-hmm. another mm-hmm. comfort zone thing you got to talk about. Yeah. Uh, that's when it was like, okay, I can do this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you're like i got this i'm gonna be nervous every time we if we ever get another yeah famous person yeah that was a harder one for me because obviously i know that it's gonna be like i feel like famous people especially authors or people who have pieces of work out there a lot of times to talk on something they want to get paid so i feel like it's hard they either want to get paid or they want you to be bigger so that more people yes hear their story yeah Yeah. so the fact that matt was like yeah sure Mm -hmm. i was like Mm -hmm. what just happened (laughs) uh so sending those i have sent so many emails and i've also i have made a list in our google drive of bookstores and authors that i want to contact and i highlight them based on if I've already reached out to them and after a while, if I have reached out to them, I try to send another email to like, Hey, just in case you didn't see it, blah, blah, blah. Try to get a response. And I do this with authors too. And mad, I, I almost don't want to embarrass, embarrass myself, but I don't think he listens. Thank God. But <laughs> um, I reached out to him like five times. Because I thought I thought Matt would if there was an author out there who would say yes, I thought it would be Matt because his just, book is small. And he's he down to so earth. Real. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. I felt like I was his best friend just having listened to his book. <laughs> like, that, that's it. Um. So I just I've been persistent with the authors I've been reaching out to. Unfortunately, I haven't heard anything back. So when Allie te- <laughs> Allie texted me. <laughs> and I had sent Matt an email and it was kind of the last ditch effort. I'd gone on to his uh, nonprofits email or website and found an email there. And I was like, I'm going to email this. And if that gets him great, but this is going to be my last time because I had tried to message him on Facebook. I tried to message him on Instagram. I tried to message him <laughs> so many places <laughs> and I've sent a few emails I, I can't even remember where to now, but it was kind of like last ditch effort. If it doesn't happen, this is my last time emailing him. <laughs> He's annoyed by me by this point. <laughs> then Allie te- texted me and was like, is that Matt as in two kisses for Maddie Matt? And I was like, what? Because <laughs> we both have off script 
email on her phone, mm-hmm. right? So, mm-hmm. and I hadn't seen the email come through yet. And like, it's funny too because since Allie went in and read it, I didn't get notified of. It. <laughs> yeah, that is the unfortunate thing. Yeah. I was legit sitting there because Tyler was doing gymnastics, and I was just like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> I was like, <gasps> I just was like in utter shock. I was like, I can't believe. It. And that's when all like the sweats and like <laughs> terror set in. But. We went out of our comfort zone and look mm-hmm. at how many mm-hmm. listens we got because mm-hmm. Matt shared it. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Matt, if you do listen. Yes. If you don't listen, if any of you are friends of his, tell him we are eternally grateful. Like, the fact that he even shared it. <laughs> I know. Seriously. Oh, my gosh. He Did you see the our YouTube link is in his bio? So that's <gasps> how come our YouTube has gotten. I didn't see that. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Uh, yeah. well thank you matt and yeah. thank you brie because <laughs> you are the ones who were like i'm getting you on here i'm getting it i'm doing it <laughs> you're welcome <laughs> okay so a big one we want to talk about is our equipment mm-hmm. if you are starting a podcast just go big don't even waste like oh gosh can you share why yes i can Guys, are you ready to hear some horrible... So this is season one. What episode? Episode four. This is before... Really all of season one. But this one in particular is before we got our good audio and knew what the heck we were doing. Mm-hmm. But I've noticed I do that at the beginning of <laughs> every <laughs> podcast. <laughs> I, I'm a visual person and I like to imagine where my podcasters are. <laughs> are you in your car? In your house? At work? <laughs> Where are you listening to I us hope from? We're at work. <laughs> I hope we're passing the time for you. Oh gosh. You guys you should see Allie's face oh right now. Oh my gosh, I'm cringing so bad. I tell people when like I'm like, oh I'm part of off script. I do, I do the warning. Season one's audio is really bad. But we get better. I don't even say that. I know you don't, but I'm just so conscious of it. I feel like it's not something that a lot of people care about. I hope not. I think it's just because we're our own worst critics. That's very true. Very, very true. But you got to tell me, guys, listen to that. And now our audio now. (laughs) You got to be like, oh, gosh. They sound so much better. So much better. (laughs) So go for it. Talk about. I'm not saying necessarily plug what we got unless you want to. I mean, I can. I love our vocaster, too. I actually told uh, Kelsey that I think she should get the vocaster. But we have Sure Mics, which is actually like Sure is a... Sure is the tip top of podcast. Well, I guess not podcast, but of microphone equipment. We've got Allie's kids with us. <laughs> They're our audience today and they don't care at all <laughs> <laughs> about anything you say. Um, but the Sure mics are the way to go. And it's really funny because all of the podcasts that I love, they've been posting pictures lately of their setup. And I'm like, oh, they have our microphone. <gasps> Oh, they cool. have our microphone. Yeah. So that's been neat. Um, the other big one is that we need to, well, okay, not we. If you are planning on doing a podcast, make sure to test your recording before. Yes. Mm-hmm. Like today, when I just started, my computer setup had chosen to be recording on its internal microphone, not on our microphone setup. So if you go back and listen to, oh, would you like to hear? how that sounds <laughs> well yes they would hold on <laughs> I knew we clearly Allie thought that she was working on her audio <laughs> I am so embarrassed but oh. it honestly sounds like Allie. I forgot about our I did too <laughs> intro in a game and uh, I good. beat him we, I was just gonna say we beat him we did but it took well, them forever it did way too long yes so like, we're kind of like I don't know. My brain is fried. <laughs> this should be an interesting podcast, you guys. <laughs> so horrible. Always make sure you test it. Test it and make sure you're recording. Yes. And then also, uh, I want to add to make sure you have headphones. Yeah. Because season one, I didn't have headphones. So mm-hmm. you did, but you're editing. So it was okay. Mm-hmm. But since getting headphones, yeah. one, I feel more professional. <laughs> <laughs> and two... When you start cracking up because you can hear something in the audio, I could never hear it. And I'm like, you would always tell me, stop, stop talking. 
But now I can hear it. And so I know mm-hmm. when to stop talking too. Good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And we're on one of our last bits here. Yeah. We're at scheduling. Yeah. That's a fun one. Oh, good l- Lord. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so we have uh, like a couple points with this one. So we have scheduling with like social media. Mm-hmm. So we have come up with our own little schedule. Like we do meme monday mondays we had, yep do our memes related to the books tuesday, tuesday is our reaction video for to, our movie reactions monday we also come out with our podcast oh, yes mm-hmm. yes our main episode yep then wednesday we have our main episode and with that we post pictures we talk like things related to our main episode and our wednesday minisode mm-hmm. and thursday we'll have random tiktoks if we have one Mm-hmm. Friday we do a preview for next week. Yes. Um, Saturday we don't have anything. It's kind of our break day. Yes. If we want to post a random TikTok, we might. Mm-hmm. I also try to post stories mm-hmm. for us. And so Monday I post our picture of our book. Like, like the inside? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, and on Sunday we didn't say. Sunday we do like, we're starting to do like a preview of the Mm -hmm. episode coming out Monday, Mm -hmm. which is new to the end of last season. Yes. But I think it worked well. I liked it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, and then what else do I post? I want to start posting polls on Mm -hmm. if you've read the book, seen the movie or done both, Mm -hmm. which you preferred. Yep. And then I typically, whenever one of our reels gets posted, I, uh, add that to our stories because I feel like that gets us more views too. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah, so I think it's important, too, to figure out what works for you for staying organized to do that mm-hmm. because we've realized, oh, my gosh, we're so stressed because we will be like, oh, shoot, it's Wednesday. Did we post a TikTok or mm-hmm. something like that? So we now have a couple ways. We use um, Google Calendar Google for me. Calendar. I, on my phone, just in my notes, have like a little checkbox if I've posted because on Facebook, which links with Instagram, mm-hmm. you can do, it used to be three months. They freaking changed. I'm so angry. Yeah, so dumb. Used to be able to do three months out. You could do um, like pre, what is it called? Pre. Pre-made? Yeah, pre-made posts. Pre-scheduled. Pre-scheduled posts. So like I have all of our first month of season three already made mm-hmm. it's ready to go. So that helps us not forget. But unfortunately, they don't do like reels and stuff there. So we no, you can't post reels pre-scheduled, unfortunately, yeah. or stories. Mm-hmm. So I have to do those bits. Yeah. Myself. Right. So and I typically forget those. So that's why <laughs> <laughs> if you follow our TikTok, <laughs> they get posted on time. <laughs> rarely (laughs) but yeah so that would be for like social media and stuff and then Mm -hmm. just recording schedule that uh, has changed for us over time because originally i used to my work schedule dictated when we recorded so when i was working at harbor greens it would be on my friday whenever that was and once Allie's kids went to bed Then when I was working at Microsoft, I could only do, because I could also, honestly, when I was working at Harbor Greens, I could do any day because I typically woke up at, I worked at 11, so I could wake up at nine. So I didn't care when I went to bed, but then I went to work for Microsoft and I had to wake up at 3.30 every morning. So I was like, okay, it has to be Friday or Saturday night, Mm -hmm. hopefully Saturday because I'm fried on Friday by right. the time I get home and Sundays are off limits. Then my dad also got a new job and my dad, we record at my house and I live with my parents right now. And my dad works. He has Sunday Mondays off. So he would prefer us to record Saturday night or Sunday night. And now I'm free. So we record whenever. Except for Allie now uh, takes into account my boyfriend. I sure do. <laughs> Gotta spend some time with your beau. Yeah. Gross. <laughs> <laughs> and so, yeah, so scheduling, like, 
so we were really excited because we were getting that. And then not only that, but then your life in general. Yeah, just comes up. It depends what type of podcast you're doing for sure. Because like mm-hmm. with us, not only do we have to figure out when we're recording. We have to read and watch the movie first. Yes. There have been times where I'm like, great, I'll finish this book and we can record that night. And then I'm like, huh. <laughs> but you got to watch forgot the movie. About the movie. <laughs> so it's like, so it's just, it, it can get complicated. Mm-hmm. But if you're motivated to do it. It works. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, and then I think we'll end with you talking about editing. Editing. That's my favorite part, guys. But what, I, what do I talk about? Like, I was hoping to have people here to be like, what do you want to know about editing? Cause I'm tell like, me, tell me, what yes. do you want to know? What did, how do you, what software do you use for editing? Oh, that's a good idea. I'll be your, I'll be your. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> that helps me. Uh, so I use Audition. Adobe Audition. I love Adobe products. Adobe is my favorite video editing software too. So I use Audition for our sound. And it takes me, our full episodes take probably about two to three hours. Our mini episodes take an hour to two hours. So there's probably double what yeah. our recording of it is. Mm-hmm. Sometimes, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What else? Anything mm-hmm. else you want to know? When it comes to editing YouTube when we have oh, a yeah. YouTube edit yeah. episode two. I edit our YouTube videos on Premiere because I love Adobe products. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, I kind of like I've realized because there's times when I want to like, cut things out and then it's very obvious that I've cut things out because obviously we aren't in the same spot that we were. So what I typically do is I then do a close up of one of us right before I cut out whatever I want or right after I cut out what I want. So then you can't see the other person and see. Mm Smart. I have yet to watch one of our YouTubes. I need to go do that. (laughs) Because she's like, I do fun things with them. I'm like, what are you talking about? Because I just assume, because I listen to every episode. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, I've already listened to it. But I find out this week that she does fun things with, so it's like watching a Mm -hmm. whole different episode. Mm -hmm. There, it's your motivation to go check out our YouTube. Check out our YouTube. Mm Mm-hmm. Cool. The thing too is with good equipment, editing is much easier because I don't have to clean up the audio. If we didn't have the good equipment, I would have to then work on trying to make it less tinny, make it less echoey, make it less whatever. So there's another reason to invest. And sometimes that is a, you can't do anything. (laughs) Yeah. Go listen to season one. (laughs) The reason why a lot of that was echoey was because we were using two microphones, but sitting very close to each (laughs) other. It was horrible. And we couldn't, she couldn't match them up right or something like that. Well, because we were not only using two microphones, but we were using two different laptops to record. Like if we could, like right now, how we do it is we have our two microphones plugged into the vocaster that's then plugged into the laptop. So we're recording on the same audio file. Mm -hmm. But when we were recording before, we were recording on two separate audio files and we would clap and try to get it on. But then just something would happen. Like maybe my computer for some reason would freeze or something would happen to where it then got off just by a second. That happened more often than not. Where it's like the audio is lined up, but something happened later on where it got unlined up. So there were times. so stressful. There were times when I was editing and trying to make it not echoey where it probably would have taken me seven hours because I would edit. It would be great. And then it would go off. So then I would try to find where our audio files lined up, get them lined up, and then it would get off again. So if Mm -hmm. you go and listen, there are times when we're not echoey and then times when we are. And the times when we are is when I just gave up. I was like, this is too much work. I'm trying to get this edited so that it can be done. I don't have the time for this. (laughs) Right. But again, with, with jumping back to the beginning, getting good equipment, you know, you got to make sure you want to do this. Absolutely. Because this it, equipment is not cheap. No, it's not. And so that's, I feel like that's one of the reasons we just did season one, how it was, mm-hmm. because we were like, we don't know if we're going to keep doing this. Like, we didn't know if it was going to be something we for sure did weekly yeah, or we were what like, we did. We were like not super invested in season one, mm-hmm. but then we were like, oh, it's kind of fun. We have parents who are... uh specifically you yeah. who are super supportive supportive so mm-hmm. we got a lot of mm-hmm. our stuff as christmas gifts 
my dad, it was really sweet. Uh, he, I think I went to, I was getting our stuff ready and my dad came in and was like, are you and Allie still enjoying doing this? Uh, <laughs> I was like, yeah, we are dad. We are. Thanks. We are. Yep. Yeah. But anyways, I think that was like it. We have yeah. time for question and answers. Any questions? Do you have any questions over there about what it's like to run a podcast? <laughs> the question was from a uh, listener, Riley, why is there so much stuff to do? Because running a podcast is not easy. It's it work. It takes a lot of work. Do you have a question, sir? Sir, do you have a question? No. Okay. Oh, another oh. question. Oh, that's, that's a, a good, good question. question. How does it feel to be a podcaster? It feels fun. It is fun. I enjoy it. Yeah. It feels weird knowing that other people are listening to me. Mm -hmm. How does it feel having your mama be a podcaster? Weird. <laughs> <laughs> Why? When she's podcasting, I really, I really like, um, am bored without her. <laughs> I usually <laughs> podcast when you're asleep. <laughs> <laughs> This is like a one-off. I mean, if we do remotes. Okay, yeah. fair. All right, fair. Because we're doing remotes a lot these mm -hmm. this summer. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll give it to you. <laughs> <laughs> but usually your mom comes back with a cool gift for you from the remotes. Exactly. I buy you a book every single time. Mm -hmm. Or cool car games. Mm -hmm. I guess that's cool, but I still don't want her to do podcasts without <gasps> me. Oh, without uh, you. Mm. Well, you're going to be coming up in a couple seasons you'll be on our on our on our what are we calling podcast <laughs> <laughs> all right i think that's all we got for this episode yeah okay well again thank you tacoma public library yes for letting us come on south tacoma branch yeah all right well maybe we'll find one okay all right so with that i think we'll say toodaloo yes again thank you tacoma public library yes thank you so much goodbye all right, I got some antsy kids. <laughs> All right, we'll see ya. Bye. 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 <laughs> Thanks for sticking with us. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, we would greatly appreciate it if you gave us five beautiful stars, reviewed, and subscribed. You can also follow us on Facebook at Offscript, on Instagram at Offscript Podcast 21, and on TikTok at Offscript underscore pod. Shout outs to Madame Shen Creations for our adorable logo art. And Adam Daniel for our incredible theme song. And to Creative Cinephile Productions for producing our podcast. See, See you, you next time. time.